The ecological water quality in Lake Hrevelinge has drastically deteriorated over the past few decades. The oxygenation conditions in the lake are poor and soil life has more or less disappeared in the deeper parts. One sustainable solution should be to establish a safe connection with the North Sea, allowing oxygen levels to rise and encourage life to recolonize the lake. In 2014, it was decided to perform a feasibility study into opening a safe connection, if possible in combination with a tidal power plant. It turned out that this is indeed potentially feasible. This outcome is the result of what is termed dynamic modeling. Dynamic modeling refers to a specific means of modeling in a team effort, integrating factors from a range of specialist models to make a coherent whole enables all parties to immediately visualize the effects of changes. This way, a wide range of variants can be exhaustively compared within a very short time frame, even when the actual data are not available for all factors. For a successful modeling process, high-quality knowledge is required. However, this in itself is insufficient. Disciplined collaboration based on clearly agreed set of starting points is equally important. This has been proven by previous value studies in the team. Without an open approach and appreciation of other parties' expertise, the large amount of available information will fail to provide a consistent whole. Meanwhile, a clear proof of concept with regard to dynamic modeling is available. This process integrates the mental and specialist models of stakeholders and experts following a system dynamic approach. To demonstrate how this works, four models have been parametrically linked with the dynamic model. Namely the hydraulic and water quality model, the business case model, the BIM model and the energy yield model. New variants can be introduced with a slight adjustment of the controls. The effects are then integrally simulated. This reveals the principal advantage. Decision makers, designers, cost experts and other stakeholders can now quickly see the effects of the adjusted alternatives or ambitions. This results in a continuously optimized model. Improved substantiated choices can be made using this model, delivering more innovative infra solutions. The exploration phase of Lake Hrevelinge and Brauersdam has clearly shown dynamic modeling works.